run those hooks right straight up through the middle, right through the front. Right up through here, up under. Yeah. Just pick it up. Run right on top of this cable here. One right down through here and just pick it straight up. Uh, the problem is you're just, you're in the sheet metal right there. Well, that's all you're going to be anywhere. Just sheet metal. You get now, you could get in up under where these frame rails are, possibly. Yeah, those frames are, they're going to come off. They're temporary that you put on there. Yeah. Now, is that motor any good? It's supposed to be. Probably got water all down in it now, though, because you got to open, no open holes right here. Watch that door. Are you watching closely? Got you jumping in. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I imagine we're going to scare up some kind of critter up here. But hopefully none of the... Uh... The killer bees. Check the poison. I think this would be the best from starting on. Yeah, it's nice. It's got a nice body on it from what, from what I've seen. It's not bad. Tires, not bad tires. My motor to my 37. Y'all think people want to see y'all on YouTube? You gonna bite me if I stick my hand over there? Yeah. Yeah, Roscoe. What y'all doing? What doing? Yeah. So, what we're trying to figure out right now is how to get this cab off of this frame. Now this is obviously not the original frame. Um, I can't remember what uh, Dizzle said that this come off of, but it's off of something. Um, and 
I'd imagine this is gonna be pretty close. I can't see what my GoPro is picking up, but this is orange. I'd imagine that this was orange at one time and over time it's faded. Now, y'all can see through the parts earlier, we have, or he has another portion. I can't see what my deal is in, but he's got another portion of uh, this back cab. But the problem is we got two fellers and uh, we ain't got a whole lot of way to be able to lift this, but we're gonna have to be able to lift it up, clear the motor and clear the, the shifter and stuff to be able to get this body off and finally get it into some protection. Uh, this cab over engine, I mean, these are not uh, the easiest to find and we're trying to, to save what's left. And we've got all the fenders, the hood, uh, all that stuff to it. Uh, and, and it's time to save what little we've got left. And you know, I, I would think this is not gonna be no kind of full restoration. This is gonna be a, uh, a rat rod and it could be a cool rat rod but you just sort of got to go into it knowing that that's what it is now optimally we'd come in from the back right here and, and lift it up but we don't have that option um, we're only going to be able to get into it from the front unless y'all can reach out through YouTube world that this video hadn't been uploaded to yet and say hey dummy this is how you do it. It's your daddy, Roberto. So, anyway, we're, we're gonna keep on tankering and tunkering until we gets it figured out, boys and girls. some reason my camera kicked off I don't know if I had too much stuff on it or, or what yesterday but the camera kicked off and so y'all missed uh, setting this down in here uh, what I did is I just come in with the front end loader come straight in here and um, dropped it down and we used some uh, furniture dollies just like this to uh, set it on and then we just rolled it right back in here sorry for the poor visibility in here but we've got it tucked out of the way now and i believe what dad is going to do is probably start um sandblasting on this here pretty soon just to sort of see what he's got um but that's the plan at this point that may have let in a little bit more light and you can see right down here these furniture dollies that we have it set on that helped out tremendously uh that was my idea and using the strap to take it off the uh the frame was dad so together we uh ended up partnering up pretty good on that yep did off the front end of the track you said it's a 454 uh -huh. did that come stop with prescription bottles in the no i stuck those in there. oh okay uh, okay so we're back out here again today i think dizzle said that he's already uh unbolted the uh motor and the transmission and uh, so we should be able just to hopefully hook up to it and uh, pull it straight up out of there and then figure out what we're going to do with it. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in there here in a minute. Looks dry down in here. I hope it, you know. I ain't gonna cut That's a. Mm, that's dry as a bone down in here. That's good. Yeah, I don't even know what it cut. It's a holly. Yep.
works. This that works. This right here doesn't mean nothing to me. Well, with what little I know, the good news is so far, water and stuff hasn't come rushing out of all the heads and cylinders and all that other good junk. So, so that, 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 is, that is really good, in my opinion, with what little that we've seen so far. So we're going to check and see if we've got any water in the pan. There, 9 sixteenths. Gave you 20 bucks for the tractor today. 20, 20 bucks. That's all I got. <laughs> I got 50. He's got 50, that's 70. We'll see, it'll be like, if it comes out, looks like milk. That's bad. It's not good. Oh yeah, it's gonna come. Oh yeah, it's you. Hey, hey, we got oil. <laughs> hey, like the clampets, man. Gold oil that is black gold, Texas tea. It's not milky at all. Oh, that's good. That's good. We're gonna pull out this tarp and look at the oil in the sunlight. And to me. That is clean oil. There's not any, a little bit of a slight discoloration right in here. It might be hard for you to see. Let me switch over to my phone. Just ever so slightly a discoloration. I mean, we're talking ever so slightly a discoloration in the oil, but not really much. It looks like pretty clean oil. So uh, I couldn't see much uh, moisture or anything in the uh, the holes that I could see, the carb was dry. Uh, some of the other holes I looked down to, it looked dry. So hopefully uh, we don't have any issues here with the motor and it can be rebuilt. So I think I've tried to convince my dad that uh, we should do a rat rod on this. I uh, just don't know how much there is to really save on there. And I just think it'd really look cool. So I've mocked up some stuff for a rat rod and we'll see. Mm -hmm. 